welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast, where we discuss the previous week in gaming. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across from me virtually is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I, you know, I, I keep having dilemmas with technology, and it at this point, it's like, why can, can I have a break? <laughs> can I just get a second? Can I just it's have like, one thing? Like, maybe I'm just dumb, but <laughs> can somebody tell me how, e- how to make it easy to figure out how to uninstall stuff on a Mac? Because, my God. I is it, that, is it like, really oh, that hard? It, it's Dude, it's like, I there's not a thing where, like, in, uh, like... Uh, on Windows, where if you go to apps and it says uninstall, I have to like figure out where to go. Like I finally figured it out, but there's not like a control pan. I don't know. I, maybe I just don't know how to use Macs. But it's just, it was just so. Uh, I I felt like I had to go through the dark web just to figure out how to uninstall something. <laughs> I like that the dark web just to try and uninstall. Like I want to install Adobe, and it's like, well, sit yeah. back and relax. Cause it's gonna take you three hours. Yeah, because Jesus, it took See, me forever. Windows, I got that recycling bin. And then it's always satisfying for when you go to the recycling bin and hit empty. Because it actually felt like you did something. In reality, you just clicked a button. Mm-hmm. But you get the assurance that the bin is now clean, which is very mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Is there not a bin on Mac? No, there, no, no, there's a recycle bin. But, like, you know how, for example, you would go through apps or manage apps and you yeah. can uninstall things i have to figure like it took me forever to figure out how to get to the managed storage thing like (laughs) it's like i had to figure out like where my startup disk thing was and like i had to like right click and then i had i can manage the storage i like i couldn't figure out how to fucking get this sounds like that sounds like a mess like i'm not used to mac i guess to be honest that sounds that sounds like a mess but you know it's not a mess Checking mm-hmm. out every single Friday on the podcast service or YouTube of your choice. And if you enjoy our content, don't worry. You can support us financially. You can go over to patreon.com slash these achievers and give us a buck. That gives you the exclusive that we are recording, I believe, this weekend. So you'll be getting that this weekend if you support us at a dollar level or above. And then you, of course, can get every episode we schedule early. And we technically, what are we recording this on a on a Wednesday, so you get it two days early. Mm-hmm. We usually try to record Wednesday, so you usually get a good two-day window of earliness to the podcast. And if you're a freeloader, don't worry, we are too. We please go over five stars on every platform you can. Like us everywhere. Check out our socials at EVM nine thousand nine Craven Slipskater. You can give us any question, comments, concerns, thoughts, and or ideas on those platforms. You can then. Send Alex a thank you note. I thought you literally about to said hate mail, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, never. Don't send us hate mail. You can send us thoughtful criticism. <laughs> hate oh, mail, criticism. thoughtful thoughtful criticism letters is what I like to call them. Hate mail, don't want that. Thoughtful about, criticism letters, very welcome. I'll even read them. Alex will read them on air. <laughs> yep. I'll read, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it in a segment. Mail with Alex. Mail with oh, I like that. Mail with Alex. It's, it's ambiguous because totally. it's just ma- mail with Alex can be anything. It could be another man. It could be actual <laughs> physical mail. <laughs> I mean, you're a male. The I am. Am I the male with Alex? <laughs> so this is a new show. I think we're <laughs> making as we're talking right now. Yep. <laughs> Enough of that though, Alex. I have yeah. one <laughs> specific question mm. to ask. What have you been playing? <laughs> nothing no i'm just oh joking. that's great <laughs> no no that um the last fun. time we, the last time we spoke we were we had played some predator um excuse me look, they go I, yawn over there from alex look i right I'm, to the mic right now i'm literally at three hours of sleep at this moment look i, I don't went to bed, i, I don't went, want anyone driving to get you know how you you see someone yawn and then you have to yawn mm-hmm. what if yeah. that goes audibly and someone's driving yawns boom car wreck <laughs> you know i don't want that oh, i'll try to just silence my mind <laughs> oh she said three hours of sleep though that's that's not healthy yeah. 
Well, I went to. I fell asleep around six because I was just trying to take care of stuff. I did as well. We were playing Apex till about four ish. Yeah, four. Mm-hmm. Got a, a, yep. was trying to. I was trying to finish up the stuff in the house before I went to bed. Fell asleep around six, and then woke up at nine thirty to feed the child. Jesus. And now I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm staying up. So now I might take a nap after my wife wakes up because her and the baby are taking naps. I That's haven't I... Uh, done anything um, as important. I just have woken up. So. <laughs> um, but playing wise, I've been uh, trying to get through ma- uh, Mafia Two. Yeah, you're still doing um, Mafia, right? Yep, I'm on chapter 12, and I think there's 15, so I'm almost done. And I want to get as many achievements as I can to the game. I don't know how uh, tedious it's going to be. Because mm. if it's too tedious, then I'm just going to straight. I'm gonna go straight to three. Yeah, I respect that, especially if there's a lot going on. Yeah, because I just want to beat it and actually play th- a good bit of three before Last of Us comes out next week. Uh-huh. So, because I'm gonna put all my time into that. God, I forgot it's next week. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Nine. I think it's like what? Isn't it June nineteenth? It's June nineteenth. So technically, it's yeah. nine days from now. So that's a week and a few days. By yeah. the way, reviews go live. I think June eleventh or something, or June twelfth, something like that. Mm-hmm. It's pretty wild that it's a week before the game even t- like touches shelves. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is a good sign that they're pretty confident it's a great game. But oh, for sure, it's pretty wild that it's just like yeah, well, you know. Reviews go live a week early. I guess it's. I guess they might have changed the rules a little because of the leak, of course. So maybe, maybe. that's why. Alex, I haven't really been playing anything new-ish. I played a little new-ish. bit of Destiny. We'll get into that um, talk when we actually get to the news for Destiny Two. So I'll save that. Okay. Um, but I've played more Apex, of course. That's that goes without saying. Um, but I did play for the first time ever. Yeah, my PC, and that was the game Valorant that came out. I think Ooh. it was uh, it was last Tuesday when it came out, and I didn't play it till like Friday. It's one of those yeah. things where I just kept forgetting to download it, mm-hmm. and then I eventually downloaded it. Downloaded it really quick because it's only like four gigs, which is pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. And then I've been playing Valorant, and it is so much fun. It, I am Ooh. having a fun time now. It is very um, strict in its way of handling things. I just got an achievement for playing Valorant. Um, and it, it's very purposeful, right? Like it's, it's serious. There's it just, just in case you don't know, it is a hero shooter. Um, as, uh, it's a closer to CSGO than any shooting style or kind of like rainbow six sort of CSGO overwatch mix. I would call it. Yeah. If you know what those two games are, that's a perfect way of describing it. It's more, I, I would think it's more overwatch than CSGO. Yeah. Um, because I feel like the shooting is even stricter on a CSGO type game, but I'm not sure. I've never played those games. I got uh, you. But they're real. This game is real fun. I, I, I've never played a PC game before, and I'm enjoying mm-hmm. my time with Valorant. And it's pretty crazy that I am doing so good. I feel like the, <laughs> the, I feel like the, it, it is a testament to the actual game because, again, I've never even touched a PC game to actually play a game on my mm-hmm. PC. So the actual, uh, was it Wazda and then hitting the keys there next to it to activate my abilities and stuff like that's yep. it feels so seamless and so so good yeah and I'm also and also um, if you guys don't have strong builds don't worry you can still play this game I I have a not strong PC at all like the graphics card is pretty bad I think it's like a 1030 or something like that and um, mm-hmm. I was able to run this at like 100 frames with everything on high I think or something like that so it's pretty yeah. good it's for games that are, are systems that are older. So don't worry about yeah. that. I just used, um, what is it, NVIDIA control panel? Yeah. And it gave me all the recommended settings, and I just changed everything to that. That's cool. I like when games do that. Yeah, yeah. There was like a recommended settings thing on the thing, and I just mm-hmm. used that, put that on everything, and everything feels pretty great, especially with that. High frames. The only thing I need to do now is um, play wired. I'm playing wireless right now, but I need to play wired yeah. to make sure that ping goes away because that my ping goes up a little bit and it's like uh, I might be losing because out. of that. You know what I mean? You might lose the fight just because you ping. I don't like that. Yep, yep, yep. I think I'm like around 50, which isn't crazy, but needs to be I lower. You. How are you enjoying the PC world? Because I'm I'm used to it because I play I played League and yeah. uh, back then I used to play a lot of Quake. So, like, how are you enjoying it? I 
like it fine. Okay. It, uh, it's crazy because I did, I did think I literally thought I was gonna be trash garbage at this game because I was gonna as as soon as I touched it was going to immediately just get stomped by all these guys and I do and I think there's some sort of skill based matchmaking going on in the background because yeah. I assume I'm not playing against anyone that actually knows what they're super super doing even yeah. though I play some pretty good people like this this one guy dropped like forty kills on uh like with me the other day like it was one of my teammates he just carried us to like victory <laughs> like he dropped 41 which is a lot out of six people and there's only like 12 rounds if you win mm-hmm. that's he was destroying people so i don't think i'm playing with anyone that actually knows what they're doing but it is nice that there's like an opening for people like me where i'm like have no idea what i'm doing but i can still play mm-hmm. the game um and we're not getting to like a Fortnite situation um, before gotcha. chapter two because with Fortnite, i was playing like regular you know regular Fortnite, yeah. and i would go and these just insane people would just like as soon as they build a a, a four by four mansion yeah. within three seconds of me shooting them i was like this isn't gonna be fun <laughs> like i don't oh, yeah, mind yeah, the it's... building but when it was when it was that qu- fast and that guy was that talented i'm like oh my god i'm about to get stomped by this I'm dude screwed. and now yeah. it's easier because they have like the skill based and they have the bots and all that so oh yeah for sure so that's good uh, but valorant is fun i did forget however <laughs> um i haven't played a super competitive game while talking with people in a long time Oh, and I think you know yeah. where I'm going with this. <laughs> yep, yep, People yep, yep. can be very uh, serious and oh, in sure. the moment. Um, and <laughs> and I won't say any of the names here because I don't fully remember them. But they're probably they're not really super appropriate to say. Mm-hmm. But the names they got to work on their auto detection for the names. Cause there was some heinous names that was reading oh, on these people. Mm-hmm. And, um, um, I don't, I, and it's not easy to report people, which is strange. Like it's pretty hmm. strange. I don't know how, honestly, I don't know how to report somebody. They didn't they tell want, me how. They want people to play this as much as possible. So they're like, <laughs> let anything slide. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I know there is a report system. I just have no idea how to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not super big. but aside from that I'm having a great time aside from the random dude who just screams obscenities when he's like destroyed or something I'm fine mm-hmm. with it I gotcha um, okay. but enough about Valor and Alex let's get into the news for the week really quick the mm-hmm. PS5 event did get rescheduled for as of recording tomorrow June 11th Ooh. for everyone so as of recording it's already been listened to it's of course unless you're listening on Can't Patreon. Wait. Um, this is very exciting. I'm hearing scuttlebutt that we're seeing the system, which is I have a feeling. I I think so too. I think it's too. I, remember, I think it's too I long. Said, it's I, been I, too I, long. I said that we would. You did. You did say that. But I am excited <laughs> to finally get this thing out. See what it is. We get to compare the two systems. We get to have the. The, the good thumbnails, you know what I mean, with the both of them oh, in it. For sure. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm excited. I will be joining you guys. Uh, we'll get that up as soon as possible. I won't be live streaming it, uh, honestly, because I don't know how to do that. Second, <laughs> first, though, um, we'll be uploading that as soon as we can for everyone who may have missed the event. They can listen to us talk mm-hmm. over it. Um, Alex most likely will be joining me. Yes. Uh, so look forward to that because we are. And, of course, if you're listening to this on free feeds, it's already out, so you can go to our YouTube channel and listen to that continuously. Do we put... What do you think? We're, we're just going to have t- a serious technical talk right now. Do we put uh, these things on uh, SoundCloud? Is that... What? The- do people do this? Do, uh, do, you, do people put their reactions to the PS5 on SoundCloud? Dude, I- like, while they're watching it? I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that just for fun and see what happens. Comment <laughs> that, a comment and let us know what's the best and easiest way to do this. Yeah, I assume people don't care if yeah. it's on SoundCloud and stuff. I assume they prefer YouTube, but maybe they don't care and just want to listen to it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I always want to watch the events, but maybe someone wants to just listen to it. 
Moving on. We'll describe everything. It, yeah, we'll just describe what's going on. That will be annoying. New Halo project in the works at 343. Um, there was a posting on a job site mm. uh, that was quote unquote leaked. Not really leaked, of course, but they posted this on a job site um, and it is quote 343 Industries is looking for a senior producer to work with our core services team to help develop a new project in the Halo universe. And of course, that's very unclear on what that is, <laughs> but it is working currently on a new project in Halo. So you can assume it is some sort of most senior producer means a lot. But if it's on 343 Industry, it's a game or a component yeah. to a game. So it's something should, related to a Halo game. Should we bring back the Flood? The guy's going to be like, yes. Hey, it's going to be right. Halo Flood. <laughs> Finally. Grave Mind. Grave. Oh, snap. That sounds good. When are they announcing this? Because we know, well I, well, I know that there is a Battle Royale in the Halo. When are they announcing this? Mm. I wonder if they pushed it. Maybe they mm. pushed it to a separate thing. But just put know. the Battle Royale in Halo already. Just tell us, because I want to see it. Technically, we haven't even seen this game yet. Unless it's going to be with the new Halo that's coming out. Well, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Halo Infinite? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to have a Battle Royale, apparently. Um, someone okay. told me we'll, so on their kind we'll of We'll see thing. it later on. Later on. Yeah, I think we'll see it in July. With the whole xbox game okay. studios event that they're doing okay i think I, they'll tease it but i don't think they'll show too much until later on maybe like september i, I mean that that's close to when the game comes out but may, i mean hey maybe oh, they're I, playing I, like a i'm guessing september yeah october i mean yeah yeah i mean they may, they might be doing like a fallout 4 like thing where they only talk about it a few months before and then boom they got like the hype going yep yep I'm really hoping this is good. Alex, is this going to be good? Can you can you reassure me? <sighs> yes. Okay, that, that didn't, you didn't seem super confident, but I, I feel better. <laughs> do you, though? Yes, I do. I do feel a little, like, I don't know. I, I didn't like 5. No, um, no. Like, especially the campaign, I didn't like. Mm-mm. And the Mm-mm. online left a lot to be desired even though i did like how they were doing the customization there was a lot going on especially the loot box scenario in that game was a mess yeah. just a mess um just just bring me back three with better graphics so, i mean <sighs> okay let's want. let's talk about it. i want to talk about this so with halo okay. with halo infinite do you want a more modernized halo 5 type thing or do you want like the no sprint type gameplay of halo 3 hmm. and see i don't mind the sprint but everything else i i that so to be honest if it if it goes i wouldn't mind like the whole jetpack the whole like 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 force field the armor thing, abilities like the armor abilities yeah that can all go yeah that won't bother me if it goes away see i like, feel like that I, was a, a missed mark because that could have been cool and every time they know. implemented it it was fun in campaign but in online it was it was a mess yeah, like uh, right now in my mind, I feel like if you just give me Halo Three with kind of combat ish of Halo Four, but like stick to like the traditional style, then I'd be fine. See, I want, I want a mix. I want it still modernized. I don't want to feel too slow, mm-hmm. but I don't need to like, I don't need to be like flying everywhere like in Halo Five. That's what I'm saying. Like I can be like four. But they'll make it like crazy jetpacks everywhere and all this stuff. Like they I want to, sp- I want to sprint with a shotgun. Yeah, just let I, me do that. I want to sprint with a sword. You know, these are things I want to sprint with. But like, I don't know. I want, I want like a perfect melding of the two, and I don't know how to properly describe what I want. Mm-hmm. But I so, want something along those lines. So think of it as. And it's a completely whole different game, but you know how uh, smooth Apex runs, yeah, like something like that, but like in the Halo universe, like it's For not sure. too crazy. Like I mean, I, yeah, of course, there's a bunch of things going on in Apex, but like combat-wise, to where like like the, the, sh- the gun, the shooting of the gun, and the, the movement, not abilities. Yeah, I want things fluid. I want to yeah. feel like I'm doing stuff. Like I don't know, I don't need to climb things per se, but but like yeah. the ability to jump and and like kind of curve myself around something or maybe there's 
I don't know. Maybe there should be different classes, right? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, in Halo Reach, there's not actual classes, but you know the pe- like the people in Halo Reach, the actual main mm-hmm. characters, like yeah. those are like perfect classes. Like the big George was like a heavy, right? Mm-hmm. And then you had like the uh the leader guy. He was like just a normal Spartan. But then you had Emile, which would have been like demolitionist. Yeah. What do you what do you think would be better? Would you would you prefer a more what we got Halo, which like regular stuff? Or would you like want like more of a hero based thing like what I just said? Similar um, to Overwatch where you have like classes. I feel like it'd be a fresh start if they do the hero based thing just because it's different. But like I said like I said, as long as they don't make it too much like Call of Duty and stuff like that where I'm like too much going on, I'm like, dude, I, I, I have no idea where he, everything is. You got that one like, dude I'll, who who knows how to strafe and everything and just destroys you that whole match. Dude, I'll try to come out a corner and I'll just get popped and I'm like, okay, there's no way you shot me or saw me coming. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Enough about that. What do you think this Halo project is, and what do you want from the new Halo multiplayer? Sound off in the comments and tweet at us, of course. And of course, if you pay on Patreon, you can post there and we will answer it. Moving on to okay. Destiny, which is funny because. Both of them used to be Bungie. Um, yep. So Bungie had a live stream, if you guys didn't know, because I didn't. <laughs> I feel like it just happened, but I assume people knew. Shadow drop. Yeah, it feel like Shadow Drop. I don't think so. I think I just wasn't paying attention to things. But they had a live stream, and they unveiled their plans for Destiny 2 and the future of Destiny 2. It opens with them talking about PS5 and Xbox Series X getting free upgrades. So they're getting free um upgrades to the ps5 and xbox series x versions for no extra charge so if you own them on xbox one and ps4 you boot up your new system and you download the game and that's all you got and your character uh, uh, migrates and they also talked about uh inter what what would we call intergeneration play Mm -hmm. so people on ps5 will play with people on ps4 and series x play on xbox one yep which is good on paper, but that kind of tells me we're not getting a huge advantage, quote unquote. And I don't mean advantage like I want an advantage for me playing on a Series X versus someone on Xbox One. That tells me I'm not getting a huge performance change yet between Xbox Series X and Xbox One, assumably. Because I would assume Absolutely. they don't want people having a better system beating up people that don't. Right? If I get higher frames, I'm at an advantage. Hey man, and just because you have a better system doesn't mean that you're better at the game. I mean, true, but that does give me extra points in that column <laughs> because yeah. I'm quicker. But hey, maybe not. Maybe maybe there will be a bigger change and they just don't care. Well, and, they did say that it's going to be 4K 60 frames per second and stuff like that. So like maybe it's just going to be that all the way around. Maybe. May- maybe. I That will be surprising. Oh, people yeah. have been asking for 60 frames from Destiny 2 on consoles forever. So hopefully yeah. they finally do it. But I won't hold my breath, honestly. <laughs> um, and then they went to unveil Beyond Light, which is the new expansion coming to D2. This is coming out September 22nd. Not too much known. We just know we're getting new content. There is a small trailer you can watch um, on any YouTube, of course, or on their Twitter. And they, we are going to Europa, which is one of <laughs> Jupiter's moons. Um, it's very icy, it looks like. It's exciting. There's a lot going on. It hinted at like an exotic, I believe. Um, mm. and this is a pretty quick this is a pretty big expansion. Um this is this is apparently gonna be kinda like Shadow Keep, which is a big expansion. Which sounds fun. Alex, is this right here, did that get you excited at all? That beyond light. Did you did you see it and like, ooh, I wanna jump back into Destiny? Um when I watch when I heard about it, I'm like, mm. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I watched the the little tra- the trailer and the thing, the the stream or whatever that happened. Yeah, and it made me want to go play it, so we did that last night. Yeah, so, well, yeah, I- we did actually get on last night and did the bare minimum, right? We jumped yeah. on. There was a cool like opening which I liked a lot. I did like that opening, and that was kind of cool. It got me kind of hyped. Yeah, uh, to mess so around. I think I could jump back. Stuff. Yeah, I think I could jump back. I would say. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, another yawn. Sorry. That's another Sorry. person you potentially killed. I want you to know that. Right. I'm not being <laughs> um, but yeah, with with Destiny 2, I did I I 
I played a lot when Shadow Keep. I mean, a lot. I played the whole season mm-hmm. and a little bit of the 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 season that came on after that, mm-hmm. and I just kept kept playing. And I had a great and I had a great time. But after a while, you realize Destiny Two is just the same stuff over and over again. So I yeah. so eventually you get tired. I got tired of it, stopped, and now I think I'm back to kind of play a little bit to get ready for Beyond Light, then really get into Beyond Light. Yeah, for sure. Which sounds which sounds fun. Um, they did talk about what is adding. They talked about the new content, the new story content, and of course we're uh, um, they went into that new subclass. So we're getting a new subclass each. Oh, excuse me. Each character is getting a brand new subclass. So they will be joining the three subclasses we already have existing, and it will be a I assumably a dark class. So you're not using mm-hmm. light using some sort of dark ability with things, which sounds cool. Hopefully, mm. it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, I'm curious on what element that will be, if it's an element, because if you don't know, Destiny is based on elements mostly. There's fire, oh. electricity, plasma. and uh, yeah, plasma, void, whatever you want to call it. And I'm curious on what that will be, if, that, if it's an added element or if it's just you just shoot stuff and, it, and it's kind of non-elemental. That's what I'm saying. I think it will, it could be plasma since we have void, fire, and electricity. Maybe it could be like plasma or something. That'd be cool. Or maybe you have a little bit of all three. I don't know. That sounds kind of mm-hmm. OP, but that, that something unique. I just want something unique out of them. Whatever the whatever the that's the what is it called? The stuff that the that darkness stuff. What is it called? Um. Oh God. What from Destiny? Yeah, the, the, uh, from Destiny. It's called uh, darkness. If you're talking about the actual, like, mean, like the, like the evil stuff. Yeah, the the black stuff, like that has. Like, oh, like, like, oh, the taken. Or, yeah, like the taken stuff. Oh, like, what, oh yeah, just like, the gross taken stuff. Yeah, so maybe that could, that's probably what the uh, what's all that darkness. Maybe. Stuff is. Hey, maybe. Um, and also shout out to the trailer with that chick having that weird. It's not a ghost apparently, which I thought it was a ghost. I oh, got ex- it. Yeah, no, it's not a ghost. The guy, ah, uh... oh, I forget his name. Smith, something. Luke Smith. Luke Smith. Okay. Um, talking to people said it's not a ghost. So it isn't a ghost. Unfortunately, I got excited. I was like, oh, we're getting like cooler ghosts. Like we're moving away from the design of that one single eye, and we maybe we'll get unique designs. But no, it was it was it was a weird space fish she owns <laughs> apparently, which was depressing. It's like, God, you show me something cool and you take it away from me, Luke Smith. Well, yeah. Now, I wish that we can get things like that, just maybe just to make it make it feel. Because I, I feel like that your ghost doesn't really do much anymore, even though it does have perks, but it does, it's not like it's like, uh, at this point, it's just for looks, in my opinion. A hundred percent. A hundred The only reason I used mine was because I wanted that 10% extra XP. But aside from yeah, that, yeah. I would just put it on something that looks good. I don't care about the trackers. I don't yeah, care about it. the uh, omni telemetry crap. Like, all the random stuff that I just don't care or need. I, I, yeah. I, I, I never really cared about that stuff. So it is, for me, visual, unless I need the 10% XP that the one specific one I have from Shadowkeep. Uh, mm-hmm. So... There you go. Oh, and apparently the sh- grenade launcher you get from the season pass, if you buy the season pass, is broken. And I don't mean broken in a like a fun way. It's literally broken. Like it's it's not, it doesn't do what it's supposed to. So if you guys have seen the, if you guys are really into the community, you can watch like the raid battles. And I don't know if you've seen this, Alex, but if you shoot enough, mm-hmm. it does like no damage, right, for the first couple of shots. But yep. after a while, the grenade launcher will just do a huge, like, will essentially one hit anything. Um, because I guess it's just bugged. And okay. if enough of the grenades are on the ground, I think it just does, like, millions of damage at once. And it, it it's like breaking the game right now. So I'm assuming a patch will come out next week for that to address that because it's it, it, it's not broken in the fun way it's broken in the if you do this very specific thing it just eliminates something it eliminates like whatever you're shooting at um and then they also move in a movie like move they did announce all their plans up to 2021 so of course this year we're getting 
the new Beyond Light in 2021 and 2022. We're getting new expansions as well. So 2021 is Witch Queen and then Lightfall coming 2022. So that's if you read into that that of course means we have destiny 2 for at least till 2022 um alex is this is this what you want do you want them to keep with this game um i yeah i guess i i mean i, I was super confident they, well I, the reason is because i'm surprised that they did that to where like oh they're actually planning out you know years to come which is i don't think they I don't know if they've done that before. I don't no, think. not really. They talked about the years yeah. of Destiny. That's kind of the closest we've gotten to that. Yeah, but like you said, this is kind of like a movie thing too. Like you know, like like Marvel was like, oh, twenty twenty one is this movie upcoming yeah. title movie. So like it does give me a little bit more hyped because I'm like, oh, this story that we're doing now for this expansion is actually gonna continue throughout all expansions, and the last one is kind of finished it. So it makes me excited, kind of like to where like okay. One expansion not doesn't just like end it or like make, keeps at a cliff. Like I don't know, it just doesn't just stop. Yeah, I I feel with that too. I think we needed the reassurance that this is good till twenty twenty two. So it kind of like, hey, don't worry, you can spend your money with us. You know, I do mm-hmm. feel like it's kind of like that where it's like, hey, don't worry, D three is not for a while. So like you can buy this stuff and feel fine. You're you're good yeah. to at least twenty twenty two. So you got a good like two years of content before even thinking about a d3 and i'll be curious if they ever end up actually being a destiny 3 i kind of hope because i don't think you can get this game up to the snuff that i want like i want 60 frames and 4k and everything to look good and 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 for them to rework certain things and i believe the only way they can actually do that is with a new new game but that does suck because you know whole new game that means you have to adopt a whole new player base. But if you make it free-to-play, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So, you know, they have a bunch of options at their beck and call right now. So it's really up to them and what they want to do. Mm. They also uh, ended it with announcing the new season of Arrivals. That is today, right? So that was yesterday, technically. But you yes. can go play that right now. Me and Alex did. That was cool. It, it does, like, an opening mission, which was really fun. Yes, um, yeah. And this season is going to lead in to Beyond Light. So this will get you kind of hyped if you want to get in now. And there's a new dungeon as well, which God. is very strong. What was it? 1040, I think it was? Ten, yep. The light so level 1, was 1040 <laughs> was, was the well, light, which in, is pretty into, crazy. Into, to be fair, I mean, we were 950, and now I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting gear that's 965. Uh-huh. So I'm wondering what, how, what's the you know the regular cap? Yeah, well, so what's the, the, what's the light cap? It's, and if you don't play Destiny, it sounds like a bunch of garbage. But there's a light cap, and then there's like a cap for your season artifact, which gets you more light mm-hmm. uh, versus your actual armor. Your armor does yeah. a certain amount, and your actual artifact will do some. So Which I, I am curious on when that stops. The last cap thing, like the like the end, like I, the one, the highest one, and then you can do that. I've seen a thousand gear. I so it yeah. so I know at least goes up to a thousand. Oh, for sure. So so we get to a thousand. Maybe it stops at a thousand, and the season artifact does the rest. I'm not sure. Maybe yeah. I'm not sure. But I did want to hit on this real quick. This is a good read, so I don't want to spoil the read if you want. To, you guys want to go over. But GamesIndustry.biz did a, a talk with Luke Smith about talking with why sticking with Destiny 2 and Destiny 3 rather than Destiny 3, and we kind of commented on this earlier. Why stick with that? I'm going to read a quick snippet, and if you, this gets you excited, go over to uh, but, uh, BusinessIndustry.biz for the rest. So th- I'm going to start off quite in the middle and, and, and kind of in the middle as well. This unrelenting growth has resulted in a game that requires players to download up to 115 gigs to play. Um, Of course, this is referencing Destiny 2, as well as huge patches tied to frequent updates. And those numbers are rising rapidly, and we've been adding approximately 25 gigs of content each year to Destiny 2 since launch. So in this, they're just describing, like, why keep with Destiny 2 rather than making Destiny 3. They're talking about how, how are we going to keep with destiny 2 and keeping it relevant well they're gonna where well, they started with explaining that they're going to start circumventing things they're gonna start circulating content so um they're going to start uh cycling certain raids they're gonna put vault of glass back um 
uh, which is the original Destiny 1 raid, which is exciting. That's going to come next year. And then uh, going back to the Arco, though. Those sizes not only stress hard drive capacity, but also push limits of patching capability. It also makes the time to generate a stable update for the game after all content is finalized, tested, and ready to go balloon to literal days instead of hours. Worse still, that 115 gig includes a lot of content that isn't relevant anymore and can't remain relevant as we evolve around the world and introduce new experiences that would take center stage instead. For example, Warmind's campaign represents only 0.3% of all time played in Season of the Worthy, and yet the Warmind expansion accounts for 5% of our total install size. This oh. dramatic imbalance between player engagement and overall cost to maintain is found in a lot of our legacy content. And then they go on to acknowledge that maintaining old content slows the team's ability to create new content and react to community feedback, as well as take tolls on developers. So, this is another thing kind of talking about Destiny 2 rather than Destiny 3, right? If you go to Destiny 3, you do get a clean slate, but if you go, uh, but they want to stick with Destiny 2. So they have to maintain these old content that no one's playing anymore, but they don't mm. want to get rid of it because a little bit of people are playing it. But I think after a while, we're just going to see it destiny 2 that they're getting rid of war mine they're getting rid of these things that people are not yeah. playing to reduce the size no, and sure. i'm be honest i don't know how that like this is a technical question and i don't know if alex you can answer it or if someone listening can answer they can of course tweet at us but like can you just delete stuff off a game like is that how it works i don't know it, if that's it, how it works I'm assuming, I'm assuming it has to be really hard because you have to go into the i'm assuming into the code Actual file and code into yeah. the file and like actually get rid of it and try to find something to put there so it doesn't break anything i guess yeah because kids if not then that's just uh it's just a um on uh what's it called an unfinished code to where like yeah. it could just yeah, it could just per, uh, poten have potential damage to yeah uh, yeah i'm very curious if if they end up like with a fine scalpel just kind of trimming things off and May, like mm -hmm. getting rid of a bunch of just stuff we don't use anymore like if they got rid of war mine if they got rid of uh the old mercury content like no one's gonna miss that that was destiny mm -hmm. 2 at its worst period so i do mm -hmm. i do i do hope they kind of get rid of some of that stuff to free up now, i don't really care about the gigs if i'm being honest i care about mm -hmm. how quick they can do things so if yeah. this isn't in hearing them to upgrade the game, my own means, get rid of the garbage content. Get rid of the old stuff. Get rid of like some of the stuff that we don't play yeah. anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's been it, 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 a lot of content is in there. It's been there for years. And not a lot of people have touched them. I and like, yeah, like there could be a good handful of people. But I think overall, I think it out um the most of the people out I like outdo that. So Yeah, hopefully no one's actually playing that stuff cuz again, Destiny ads worse. Don't do that. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> Don't please. Yep. Uh, what's let's go back to Windows Central, which was that first story. Xbox will get a brand new mobile update rebuilt from the ground up. This is a real quick. They're rebuilding that platform again. Um, it's going to be more of a companion app, hopefully. Um, it seems to be very early though, and it's similar to what we talked about last week with mercury with that xbox store redesign so it mm -hmm. looks like all xbox things are most likely going to get a fresh update to look a lot cleaner and more um, mm -hmm. uh, similar in style that's really all it is uh from that story but get excited get oh, excited. I'm excited i am i am i want i i like my quick apps i can jump because i use it a lot surprisingly just to take a peek at things like like oh what achieve where am i at with this achievement like i'll bring it up on my phone real quick and see where i am and then i'll yeah. match that with something else so i'm using it for other things it, it's really cool and you could share stuff easier on there i feel like like if there's a clip you can just share it to somebody yeah i've noticed i've noticed lately it's actually been um the xbox x has been running a little weird because i was trying to look look at my achievements just my achievement yeah. list and then when i click one it will close the whole app out and I would have to open it back up to like, to even like, and I have to scroll back to the game that I was at and they would do it every time I would like click on a game and oh, like wow. an achievement. Yeah. And so it was acting weird. You're talking about the app not or the system? Yes, the app. The app. Okay. Man, I was just making sure. So yeah, with the app, I was actually surprised because uh, on my app, I was, mine was actually working really well. <laughs> which which i was oh, wow. I, I know that sounds bad but i was surprised that well working when i was doing my achievement list that we're doing for easy achievers plus on monday um yeah. 
we, uh, I was doing it and it was actually letting me click an achievement. And when I hit back, a mm. lot of places refresh the page. So you go all the way to the top, but it just went back to the game I was already on, which is super nice. <laughs> super That's great. Cool. That was that was so nice. So, um, that's something I prefer widely. It's, it's just if it works right. That's all I want. Yeah. But um, maybe that's a Android issue. Maybe. Maybe I uh, hopefully. Hopefully um, it gets addressed though. Yes. Yes. Or maybe they don't care and they're like, "We're making a new one, so just just hold off." Oh, that too. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Moving on to game rants by Roy Young. Harry Potter RPG leak reveals title, release window, and gameplay features. So this is a super, super unverified thing. This is part of our... uh, Alex, what did we call it? Grab a a bucket of salt and chug it or something? I don't remember what the actual thing was called, but it was something along the lines of... take Take it with a grain of salt. Also chug it at the same time. I don't know why we said chug it, but eat some salt. A potential massive leak for the rumor in a Harry Potter RPG just dropped. The source claims to work for Warner Brothers Marketing, though the claims are unverified. As such, this Harry Potter leak is best considered unreliable. But it is interesting to consider it nevertheless. First, the leak reveals the game's title, Hogwarts, A Dark Legacy. Rather than featuring the Harry Potter branding, the rest of the leak details what's said to be Harry Potter RPG's various gameplay features. According to the league, players take the role of a student and roll at Hogwarts. They're a fifth-year student who transferred in from a different school, which explains why you're already a capable witch or wizard. This game features a light character customization that isn't quote-unquote super detailed, but still looks good. This customization system allows the player to pick a witch or wizard, as well as other basic cosmetic changes. Player will also choose whether to be pure blood, half blood, or Muggleborn, which has gameplay oh. ramifications. Which Hogwarts Wizarding House the players uh, sort it into is dependent on the player early gameplay decisions, and it does matter. Each Wizarding House is said to have its own unique quest line to follow and will lead to meaningful consequences in the story, including character deaths. Regardless of house, players are always the hero and eventually go on to become an Aurora, which is dope. Even yes. Slytherin can't join the villains, though the big villain is said to be a former Death Eater. Interesting. Um, apparently it takes place after the ending of the Harry Potter novels with the Potter's children having graduated. Jeez, this is a long time then. My God. Yeah. That said, a lot of Harry Potter characters are set to appear, including Potter himself. WB is planning multiple sequels for the game, though it isn't clear if there will be direct sequels featuring the same protagonist. As for gameplay, Hogwarts Dark Legacy delivers a robust experience. Hogwarts and Wizarding World are fully explorable with Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and the Ministry serving as three of four hubs. The game will create rivals for the player to battle via a more focused Nemesis-style system, which can be dueled. Combat comes down to a more back-and-forth style of action rather than a button mash and win, with characters having five different skill trees to progress through. Missions will task players with going many places, accomplishing a wide variety of tasks. Quidditch will naturally be available to play. It sounds like an absolutely massive game. You know what it sounds like? What? An MMO. Uh, th- I think I think that's a little too much, but I I I see where you're going. I th- I have a feeling in that reading it. this, it does it does sound similar to an MMO. I don't I think mean, it is. Why would it be four hubs? Why can't it be? Why could it, they could have said just area? They could have said areas or like like you know like how you, for example like let's say Skyrim. You know, there's different well, worlds, you, different things you can fast yeah. travel to. Hubs. I feel like it's areas that there's going to be a lot of people in, meaning online. I, I feel that, hey, maybe, maybe, but I think, I think that would have been said in the leak. I think we would have already known that, but, but mm-hmm. hey, maybe. I think hubs were just mentioned because hubs can naturally be just a, a, a wide space that you run around. That's what, that's how I read it. But hey, yeah. may, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some sort of MMO aspect to this, or there is a destiny like system. I don't yeah. think so, but that'd be interesting to see. Um, uh, let's get back into this. There are several other smaller details, too, like the game is quote-unquote dark and meant for adults who grew up with Harry Potter. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. It's just... Options, here we go. <laughs> there, yeah, all right. That can grow into marriages. Very Harry Potter. Uh, oh, sure. Everyone you meet in high school, you're just going to marry. Players like will fate. also have NPC companions for missions that players have some control over. House points are involved in in the game to some degree as well. 
It's cool. As far as leak go, this one is very robust. That both makes it very likely to be fake, but also very interesting to be considered. All right, that's re that's really where it ends. Um, I don't think this is real, and that <laughs> sucks because I I want it to be real. I want all of this to be real. Oh, and the 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 leakers thing is it says that it's noted that it thinks it's going to release June twenty twenty one. I can see that. Yeah, that makes sense. But we're getting cool. Batman probably before then, I assume. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I assume we're not getting Harry Potter yet. Um, Alex, is this real? I off the I, cuff I right now. To, what do you think? I, I I want it to be because I would be so excited. I do too. I do too. I I want even, this to be real. I think even my wife would play this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, uh, I I love that you get to pick your pure blood, half blood, Muggleborn. But That's, I like that too. It's one of those cases where. And this is what I use by leaks. Mm. This is how I know if it's real or not. If it's too good to be true, <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> so this sounds like a dream game that doesn't exist. So I, I'm assuming it just it's not gonna be real. No. I want I want to be so fucking wrong, Alex. <laughs> I wanna be I want to be shoved into my face how wrong I am. Look, you wanna be too good to be true. How about the next uh, story is too good to be true? <laughs> oh, okay, I see where... Okay, okay. over on PushSquare.com, Mass Effect Remastered to come fall 2020. That's really okay. all that is from that. Um, PushSquare makes great uh, stories, so please read over the... Uh, jump over there and read something else. This That's just the base, base thing. This is another leak-ish thing, apparently, I believe. Um, oh no, sorry, this isn't even leak. So following trusted reports that the Mass Effect trilogy is finally being remastered for current gen consoles, a new article from Game Reactor says that as far as they know, the collection is set to launch this fall. The supposed timing would come as no real surprise given that we're on the cusp of a new console generation. The Game Reactor says that the trilogy, quote, will take the place of EA's usual blockbusters, Battlefield, and Star Wars Battlefront, end quote. And uh, we're expecting the collection to be officially announced during EA Play event, which is next week, June 18th. I didn't even know that was having an EA Play next I week. I forgot. I remember they announced it. I completely forgot that it was happening. <laughs> I mm. just shows you how much I care about an EA Play, to be honest Look, with you. You know how long we've been asking for this fucking remaster and we're now finally getting it? I, and I believe the... So, um, someone was talking on their podcast. I believe it was Colin Moriarty on Sacred Symbols. He was talking about why why wouldn't they have released this by now this is easy money right oh, um, for sure. because uh, if you remember ea at the very beginning of the console generation was like we don't want to release re-release our games mm -hmm. right we don't want to re-release things and and you know and take advantage of the money or some crazy thing like that i was like what all right whatever um yeah, right? and he assumed because they knew what was happening with andromeda and it would be much easier to do a parallel of like, oh, yeah, this game's going to make Andromeda look terrible. So they don't want to remaster the three that were good and, and put it next to Andromeda. So I kind of believe that's why they did Because, again, this is EA. They want easy money, right? We know EA. We all know Star Wars Battlefront. We all know these to stories of what's happened over there. Uh, they want easy money. I do not believe this is from the goodness of their heart on why they're remastering these games. So they probably were waiting for a year. They didn't have a huge release, and they were going to re-release a remaster. Now, Alex, mm -hmm. off of literally no evidence on anything... Mm -hmm. How big is this remaster? Do you think it's a full remaster, or are we just getting the games again? We get all the games again with DLCs, of course. Of course. Um, I feel like mm, mm, sixty mm. bucks. Is it sixty bucks? I think it is. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it's easy sixty dollars. I'll okay, fucking happily it pay it. We get. We're getting Mafia. We got Mafia two and three. But technically, two is remastered to 4K 60 frame, not 60 frame. I'm sorry, uh, just 4K. I think for resolution. And then Mafia, shit, 2, the Mafia One is getting the full flesh remaster. Yeah, full flesh remaster. Mafia Two. So looks and, that, terrible, and that was, but... and that was what was that? 40, 60 bucks. I can't remember how much it was. Oh, damn. Because you had so you it. can buy them individually. 60 bucks is for everything, mm. or each of them is. The Mafia One was fifty by itself, or it was way cheaper buying at sixty dollars. I think Mafia One yeah. was sixty or fifty, and then Mafia Two was like 
40 so, and okay. mafia 3 was 40 i think or something like that i think we're gonna get it or i think we're gonna get the remaster kind of how these were uh-huh. i think i think if anything one will get like a like a really big remaster and uh-huh. then two and three would just get like a good buff okay okay I'm because hoping we get. I really want them to remaster. I don't think we will. I think we're getting the games again. I I barely yeah. think they'll touch the graphics. I think we're getting a Mafia Two scenario, where mm. it's in 4K. I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> if it if oh. it looks like an old ass game, it's gonna look like an old ass game in hey, 4K. 4K, and I get a whole new set of achievements. I'm, I'll be alright. You're good. I, I'm I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouse. I'm just saying. I wish it was a little more. I know it's not going to be what I want. Oh, for sure. Please, for the love of God, prove me wrong like the Harry Potter thing. But <laughs> I don't think we're getting too much out of it. I think we're getting Mass um, Effect Remastered. I think it's going to look pretty good. I think they're going to polish one a little bit, polish two a little bit, and not touch three. They're just going to make yep. that 4K. Hopefully, these are 60 frames. But Oh, for I, sure. I, don't, I mean, who knows? Who knows if they even put that much effort into it? I don't, I don't know. Can um, you tell I don't trust EA? <laughs> I mean, can you tell? I don't know if this was EA, uh, but or no, it was Visceral. But I just saw something about where it says the Dead Space writer to review a new game. Isn't that a play? This that this during a PlayStation event tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah. It says Anthony revealed that on Twitter that the new game has been working on on will be shown at Thursday's PS5 launch. Yeah, he said cool. he's been working on it for almost two years now. Yeah, cool. I guess. Dead Space Four. Uh, no, it's not dead. No, it's not. No, it's not Dead Space Four. Come on. <laughs> it is not dead. Don't do not get excited. <laughs> it is not Dead Space. I know. It is the guy who wrote Dead Space making a different game. E and by the way, EA wouldn't reveal that there. They would reveal at their own event. A live space. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Anyways. <laughs> I just love that world, dude. It sucks that they like they haven't even remastered them or something. Like I just I like I love the the rig that you had and shit. Hey, Amen. They closed that studio down, so they definitely don't care about Dead Space anymore. Ugh. Maybe they'll give us a remaster of that again. They'll poop it out. They'll be like, here you go, here's the games again. I guess. Hey, I'd be alright with that. So many good games that just lay, just go on the wayside and are wasted. Dude, right? Wasted. They just like. They just get slithered away. Waste Dead Space was destroyed by EA's. Like we gotta make it a shooter. Like why? Why did why you made them? You made you destroyed the reason we played them. <laughs> yeah, two was real good. Three, three was a shooter for some reason. Like fear. Yeah, yeah, like almost like fear, where it became a shooter at the end. It's like stop it, stop, just make make it scary. <laughs> Three was like I could customize guns and like make them different. Th- like why? <laughs> Just let like, me play the it's game. Like I, see, I didn't even mind them upgrading the shooting, but they didn't keep the horror aspect. It wasn't as scary. Yeah, no. Like I wasn't low on ammo at any point and scared and like, oh my god, like where am I gonna go? You know, like nothing like that. It was all right. I guess yeah. I'll shoot this thing with an assault rifle. Mm-hmm. And ugh, God. So many, so many. I could complain about Dead Space for a whole podcast, but we won't do that here. You can. Oh, thank you. So oh, sorry, I'm ahead of myself. Thank you so much for listening to this Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of June 10th. Thank you for coming by. Remember, you can always support us every single Friday on YouTube or the podcast of yourself, your choice. You can head over to Patreon.com if you want to support us to maintain this content. You can go over there, give us the dollar that gives you the exclusive every single month, and a little more dollars gives you it early every single month. Thank you guys so much for listening. Tweet at us your questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, or ideas, or post it on our Patreon page, and we will answer them directly. Alex, anything to leave with the audience? Go play some games. And on that note, go achieve. Go achieve.